Well, hello there, Skywinders. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Sharper Image heating mug. It has insulated walls and a USB power. So it is, uh, like I said over here, double insulated and it has a heated base. So that's kind of redundant right there. So it was on clearance for $19 plus tax. And I think that's... um that's all there is to say spill resistant so that's a good thing right there what else so it has a travel lid it's made of stainless steel it's um 414 milliliters and it's powered by usb so that is important because that way you can um use it in your car so this is how it works i don't think that's important and I think that's a USB-C, which is for now as 20 as of 2022. That's the standard. So let's open it up. Okay, so it does come with instructions. So it's a very nice piece of paper. It's not that regular white piece of paper that most things come. It's a very glossy paper. So I'm very happy about this nice glossy paper. I'm going to read this off camera and then we're going to try it out. So give me one moment. Okay, so I am done reading this. And for the most part, everything is either standard or um, good common sense will um, dictate how it works. But there is one noteworthy thing, uh, noteworthy thing, and that is right here and it says that the sleeve fully heats liquid from room temperature to max heat within approximately 90 minutes so um, it's good to know that because if you think that you're going to use this to heat up your tea or your coffee it's not going to work because uh, 90 minutes is way too long so this is more um, intended to keep something warm rather than using it as a cooking device like for making coffee or tea but either way let's open it up so yes it's a very nice quality smells very good and I don't know where the charger is maybe it's in here oh there we go I was a little worried there so this is how that looks so this is very nice, definitely. Comes in a nice Ziploc bag. So um, they put a nice rubber band. It's the black kind. So it's not that standard ugly twist tie thing. So this is a USB-C, which will go, oh, it goes over here. I, yeah, it goes over here like that. So the cable has to be aligned to that indentation. So you can put this in a um, car. So this is kind of weird, but I hope it works out. And, um, and then you twist it clockwise to make the connection and counterclockwise to pull out. So I'm thinking um, by the way it looks, I think just by gravity it'll work. Yeah, just gravity will do the trick, but this is just like, like an extra security. And this lid right here is um, spill proof. So you open it up like that to drink and then you can close it again okay so let's um let's go ahead and power it up okay so here's our wall connection and the instructions do say to use a preferably a 24 watt USB adapter which I don't have um, it'll say right here right there 
24 watt USB power adapter, which I do not have, but I do have a 20 watt USB power adapter. This is um that I bought for my phone. So you plug that here. Well, you plug that here first. Plug that there. And it should be powered already. So there is no indicator LED that I can tell of. No, I don't see anything. But anyway, I'm going to go to the kitchen and get some tea. So first you have to wash it. You can put it in a, this top part, you can put it in a machine, a dishwashing machine, or you can do it by hand. Uh, but this part cannot be, this part you cannot put it in the machine. So it's not hot at all. Let me see that again. Oh, wow, that is fast. I'm going to unplug that. That is fast. So let me go wash it. Okay, so I am back and there is water there. And I do have a uh, this right here, the creamer, and I do have a tea. This is the double red rooibos tea. That doesn't really matter. And now we're gonna see if it's really um, spill proof. So we're gonna close that there. And I hope I don't get my table. Well, make sure it's closed right here. So it is, this was just a little bit of residual water, but once you, once you close it, there's not a lot of water coming out, maybe just a few drops. So I guess it does pass that test. So we have the water. So the first thing I want to do is put the, put this in there, the tea bag. Smells very good. And we're going to close that. And we're going to add this later. So like I said, I don't like the fact that there's no indicator LED, but it is um, heating up so let me turn off the camera and whenever it's done we're gonna see okay folks so it has been a little bit over 15 minutes so it's been there heating up for that amount of time um, I'm using this phone right there to measure the time and when I first put the water in there it was at 80 degrees Fahrenheit so let's see if there's been any significant change so let's open that up. So remember it was 80 degrees. So let's um, try to mix things up a little. And yes, there's definitely a small difference. It says 87 degrees. So I know you can't see that on camera. Let me try to zoom in. Wait. I was reading it wrong. It's um, 90, 96, I believe. Yeah, 96 degrees. That's Fahrenheit, of course. If that were uh, centigrade, that would be boiling, but it's, um, that's Fahrenheit, so that's 98 almost. So it's definitely heating up, but for a tea preparation, you would have to go to at least 140. So it's taking me 15 minutes just to go 
um, about 18 degrees and I have to make it all the way to 140. So this is definitely not a cooking device or this is not for heating up water. This is just for maintaining the uh, temperature. So I just want to point that out. Make sure if you buy it, you cannot plug this in and put the tea back in there and then expect to be drinking uh, hot tea or hot coffee within 20 minutes. It's not going to happen. You're going to have to wait those 90 minutes that they say on uh, the instructions and the instructions say max power. It doesn't even say what that temperature is. So it's good to know that it does work but it's not fantastic in terms of being able to go from room temperature to boiling in about 15 minutes. That would be ideal to be able to go from uh, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to boiling. Uh, boiling is about 180 degrees Fahrenheit so that's not going to happen on this. But it is working. So I'm going to wait a little longer and see what happens. Let me turn off the camera. Okay folks, so it's been about 20 minutes. So let's measure that temperature again. See if there's any difference. So again, the last time I checked it was about 98. When I started heating it was 80 degrees. So it should be about 100 by now. So let me mix it up a little. So yeah, it's almost 100. So it took it took about 20 minutes just to increase 20 degrees so if I were to wait a little longer I would have to wait an extra 40 minutes just to get to 140 at that rate so that's extraordinarily long but either way it is working and that's what matters so I'm not gonna do this anymore because it's taking too long and it's not really meant for that the manufacturer doesn't claim to be a cooking device it's just a maintaining temperature maintaining device so the next thing I want to do is go to my car and see how it works out over there so let's go okay folks so here we are in this car and I just noticed a problem so here's the cup and if you look at the car and I know it's all dirty here I haven't cleaned this car it's not really my car anyway. This uses a regular USB. It uses a regular USB and this thing uses a type C USB so they don't match. So that is a problem. So if you're going to power this up, you're either going to have to have a very modern car that has USB C instead of the standard USB. Or you're going to have to find an adapter that has a USB-C connection instead of the standard USB. Um, I've never seen that before. But since we are in 2020, I'm sure it's out there already. Considering, considering that every phone out there has a USB-C these days. Except for iPhone, of course. And um, that's definitely going to be an issue. Especially if you have an iPhone that means that you're going to have to have two types of adapters in your car. One for the iPhone and one for the USB-C. So there's nothing I can do to uh, power this up in here. I do have other cars. Uh, but the other one is 2018. So I don't. I'm, I know it doesn't have a USB-C. And then the other cars are a little bit older than that. So they do not have USB-C. So the only thing I can do is um, show it off like that and see how it looks so it does fit it fits on the smaller cup not on the bigger one 
but that's how it looks so let's go to the other car and see what um how it'll fit okay so here we have another car and again this one's a little bit older so if you look over here it it has a regular usb connection but not the usb c type so that's going to be a problem you are going to need an adapter unless you have a 2022 car which i assume would have a usb c connection but here's uh how it looks on the car so this one has a, a two sizes and it fits on both because it's smaller on the bottom than it is at the top so that's nice let's go back okay folks so here is yet another car this is not my car and let me put that there and again the same problem again the same problem this is a usb standard connection there is no usb c on this car so this is how it looks it does look nice it does fit but it won't connect to that so you're definitely going to need that adapter okay folks so we are back from the cars and my final thoughts on this is that it is good it's definitely um doing what it's supposed to what it is advertised as doing which is um keeping your drink warm but there are a lot of situations they have to be aware of for example you do need a preferably a 24 watt adapter so if you have that um 900 milliamp uh, adapter that's not going to do anything at all you need that 24 watt adapter and you're likely going to need an a uh, cigarette adapter for the for the car that uses a USB-C like this so the regular standard big USB-C that you probably have in your car it's not going to work and even if you have that adapter the odds are th is that you have the big one not the USB-C type so that's not going to work either and like I said I've never seen uh, a USB-C type adapter for a car but I'm sure it's out there and um, I don't want to buy that just for this and I wasn't planning on using this on my car anyway so that's not a big deal for me it might be for you and the other issue is that even if you do have that 24 watt adapter it takes 90 minutes to go from uh, room temperature to maximum maximum heat which I don't know what that is but um by my measurements it went one degree per minute so if you want to go from uh, 80 to 140 it's going to take 60 minutes so that's a full hour to go from 80 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit just to be able to drink a cup of tea or a cup of uh, coffee to me that's a, that's too much but it's not really meant for that it's not a cooking device it's just a temperature maintaining device so basically you have to heat up this somewhere else so you're gonna have to use that other cup and then you're gonna have to pour that in here because you can't really put this in a microwave so you're gonna put that in there and then you're gonna brew whatever you're gonna do in there and then you're gonna plug this in to maintain that temperature so that's what it's meant for so it does seem like it's a lot of trouble for a little bit of solution in my opinion I still like it but I consider it more of a toy than a, anything serious it's not changing my life at all as a matter of fact I have an extra cable now and I need an adapter now so it's making my life a little bit more complicated but um, it is what it is I cannot make a recommendation given those circumstances and for $19 as a as a just a plain cup uh, insulated cup double wall insulated cup it seems very expensive for that so I cannot make a recommendation I would give it a three stars out of five for that reason for the fact that they chose to um, leave the uh, USB-C instead of the standard USB that every car has and every adapter out there is so having said that um, thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.